Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Trans Turbine here. I figured since the day is still young, uh, hell, why not start another uh, short little video series? So here is a Boeing T50-BO-12 gas turbine engine. But what you see here is only the gas turbine. All right, so there's no power turbine coupled to it. So you're only seeing about 50% of its original equation. So just to come on back here, once again to reference, this is the same engine in a turbo shaft configuration. So from this point on is the power turbine. So what we're looking at in this video here is this section. So... This is an engine that I purchased not too long ago. I purchased it knowing that it was it was no good um, and that it was questionable. So, um, and I think I know the history of this engine. I think this is an engine that I purchased a long time ago, and I believe it was a complete engine then. It was a turbo shaft, and it was a perfectly running engine up until the uh, the owner let somebody else mess around with it, and they hot-started it and cooked the blade. So if it was that engine, um, everything else on it was good. You know, it had a good fuel control unit and um, whatever. But I, I don't know. It's been so long. I can't, I can't, you know, say that with absolute certainty. But at any rate, I bought this engine knowing that it had bad blades. Um, I do, however, have a set of new old stock blades for it so we're gonna just do a science experiment here i'll kind of go through this engine and we're gonna do a real crude uh reblade process on it i mean to do it right boeing had high speed balancers and fixtures to do that job well the rotating group in this turbine has to spin up at about uh, in excess of 36,000 RPM. And there's really nobody that's dealing with these engines as far as balancing them anymore. So what I'm going to do on this one with you guys is we're just going to do a basic um, kind of static balance. Uh, we'll probably utilize even maybe like a motorcycle uh, wheel balancing stand. And we'll just do it that way, get it as close as possible. So I'll take the, indivi the new individual blades and retaining clips. I will weigh out each of the blades. I will mark those blades with their um, respective weights. And then when we go to affix them to the wheel uh, assembly, we will just you know balance that weight out in a opposing configuration based on on those weights and get them as close as possible there and then we'll put it on a little sta uh, static balancing stand and we'll get it close uh, i've done that in the past with with success but you never know what you're going to get when you go that route but uh, why not you know why not us do a little experiment on this and if, if we can make it uh, run good, it will be a very good little turbojet. These turbojets will produce about 450 uh, pounds of thrust, maybe even slightly more. And you can add an afterburner on to them and double that thrust. So I just wanted to take kind of a preliminary video of this engine. Um, it's pretty much complete. So up front, we, we have the um, compressor spinner still there. Those are nice to have. We got the interstage bleed uh, valve there. We have the uh, oil filter. Obviously, we have the oil tank. Back on this side, we have the uh, oil pump. We have the oil tank uh, filler spout and cap still present. We have the fuel flow divider. Uh, obviously, we have the left side combustion can and the right side. Hopefully, all the internals are still in there, like the liner, the fuel nozzles, and all that good stuff. Um, we have the igniter plug there. Tachometer generator. High pressure fuel pump. Fuel metering device. And starter generator and then just to verify we do have the igniter plug on this so realistically the only thing that's missing 
we're missing the the line that connects the uh, interstage bleed assembly to the um, compressor housing but i do believe i have that uh, then we're missing the fuel lines uh, that will go um, essentially from the fuel metering device feeding the fuel divider and then we're missing the hard lines that will feed this combustion uh, chamber and then the other two hard lines that will go and feed the other one. Um, I can probably make some of those lines up and then or possibly uh, just rob some of my other engines, uh, um, you know, from from those lines to put on here during testing. So. You know, I'm probably not going to go crazy on this one, but then again, I say that all the time and maybe I will, uh, but I'm going to clean it up real good. The compressor case has a couple nicks and gouges in it. I'll smooth some of that out and heck, I might drop it off over to the powder coaters and, and just have them coat that, you know, I'll smooth some of these, a uh, little bit of drag marks from it being handled over the years on its, on its belly smooth some of those out things like that you know um i probably have some uh oil filter housings that are already powder coated depending on what what color scheme i i want to go with on this one but i'll just give everything a good cleaning um but this will be the the first the first video we'll call this uh i don't know it'll be like will it run series or something like that and that's what we'll we'll find out like can we just do a real quick um you know I don't I wouldn't call it a rebuild process but can we can can we do a quick uh refresh on it and uh have it live on and uh we can kind of do that together. So I will uh since like I said the day's kind of just a smooth quiet day uh why not start tearing into this. So I'll go ahead and I'll end this video here and then I'll tear into it and then probably before the day's over I can have an update uh, video with it torn up a little bit and maybe i'll have the wheel and shaft assembly out of it and we can take a look at the the current blade conditions and all that so um let me know how you guys like this video and and let me know if this is a little series maybe it'd become like a little five or uh 10 video series of some you know something will it run all right uh that's the million dollar question talk to you soon trans turbine out